Paraguay, Colombia, and all the talk is about James Rodriguez. Travelled over, not fit to play. The Colombian doctor said it's going to take at least 10 or 8 to 10 days to have yeah. him ready to go. But not this game against Paraguay. The following game is in six days from now. So yeah. it looks like James Rodriguez's trip, he's not going to play at all, is he, no. at this point? And what a loss he is. And, and strangely, he's decided to stay with the Colombian national team uh, as opposed to going back. That says a lot about him too, doesn't it? It does, especially for a player that's uh, been fighting so hard to try and get playing time for Real Madrid and hasn't been by any means uh, a given starter under Zinedine Zidane, nor was he under Rafa Benitez before that. And so the fact that he's going to stay with Colombia, where he is very much a leader, uh, says a lot about what he, what he means to that national team, but also maybe about the situation back in uh, Chamartin with uh, Real Madrid. Because you would think a player like him, who's desperate for playing time, would be eager to get back, to be among the you know, four or five first team players that are actually going to be there training under Zinedine Zidane. I think it's a bizarre decision for him not to return. And obviously they're not they're going to be without him and he's a hugely influential piece for them. But just even looking at some of those clips there, his performances so far in the World Cup qualifying have been, like you said, sensational. And you saw a bit of a swagger, even the celebrations, the, yeah. little, the little moves that we saw there that I do terribly. But <laughs> James Rodriguez enjoys himself when he plays at Colombia and maybe just that little bit of time away could do him the world of good. Um, yeah. Paraguay. The style of football also that, uh, that Colombia play, I think, yeah. is more fitting to, to a player like James Rodriguez, a team that wants to have the ball, that sort of expresses that joy in their aesthetic, the way that they play. I don't know that he gets that necessarily in Real Madrid, where it's all a bit more reactive, a little bit yeah. more vertical. Maybe he doesn't enjoy himself quite as much. Absolutely. Paraguay, their form at home has been really, really good. Draws against Brazil and Argentina, victory against, uh, victory against Chile and also Bolivia as well. Why are they so good at home? Why would you not rule them out in this game against Colombia? One of the incredible things about the South American World Cup qualifiers, it really is some of the best atmospheres that you'll see in international football. And Defensor is in Chaco Stadium in Asuncion is an insane atmosphere uh, for visiting teams. The crowd is right on top of them. It's incredibly loud. And we saw that against Chile. You know, the South American uh, champions came into Asuncion and in the first 15, 20 minutes, the Paraguay national team and the fans were all over that Chilean team and absolutely stunned the South American champions. I think that's a big advantage for, for Paraguay, which is already a very physical, a tough team to beat. They have some good young players coming through uh, as well. They were without Derlis Gonzalez yeah. for that one against Chile, and they didn't really struggle much at all. They took Chile apart in the first 45 minutes. Things evened out uh, a bit in the second half, but they get off to very, very good starts in Asuncion because of that terrific uh, home field advantage. All right.